Hey friends, it's Aubrey. Today we are going to organize the freezer. Just get things more back in line with how they should be looking instead of looking like this. So let's get to it. I'm just gonna start pulling things out, putting them on the counters, and then we can kind of assess where we're at, see what type of bins we need figure out maybe some meals that we can use to clean some more of this out and it'll be great. wipe out the inside of the freezer now and then we'll get to all of this stuff in a minute. Here is what we're working with. This is mostly all the bread, the prepared meals, broth, beans, other things that I have already pre-cooked ready to add into me. there are a few more bread items that didn't fit on the other counter over here the gogurts cheese easy dinner things like ravioli pizza nons to make pizza with and we also have some muffins i made not too long ago and here is the meat and the bag of celery so let's figure out how we're going to organize this and get it all back in the freezer quickly so i have these two bins that I've had for a little bit. I'm going to see if they'll work in here. A little shallow. Kind of my thought is we can put like items in the bins together and then some extra stuff in the back. And so that way we can just pull these out, get whatever we need to in the back, and then whatever we need to in the bins we just put back in. So let's figure out what we're going to put in the bins. Figured we'd put all these tubs of chicken broth and black beans right here. That way it uses the vertical height pretty well and we don't waste a lot of space. We also have some homemade freezer jam. This is really good. I'll link the video where I made this in in the description box for you. Then I freeze pineapple juice because we make meatballs or if this is part of that recipe, I'll leave that link for you too. It's really good, but we keep this just on hand so we can just unfrost it and or defrost it and then go ahead and make the meal. We also have these little things of curry paste that we like to use and they freeze really well so that we don't have to waste anything. Just set those in the back as well. We also have some clearance prepared dinners that I'm just going to stack here in front of pineapple juice because we don't get the pineapple juice out that often. Veggies in one of the bits and we'll see how that works. I'm actually going to put the celery back behind it because we don't use celery super often because it's not soup season, but it will be soon. I'm going to put this bad boy back in the back behind the other bin because we'll probably get him up in a couple weeks, but not super soon. Shove that back there. And then the other bin is all of our other meat. And so there's some ground beef, some sweet pork from my video, crock pot one recently, and then some meatballs. Mm -hmm. 
prized possession, the chicken nuggets. The toddler loves them. So we'll just put those right in front since we grab those almost every day. So it's gonna get a little bit tricky because I don't have another bin and I don't want to run to the store right now to get one. So for this other section right here, I'm gonna put all of the bread items. I'm just gonna try and organize them on how much and how often we use them. And hopefully it'll be fine. It's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. As long as I can see everything that we have, it'll make mealtime a lot easier. have some waffles and ravioli which I'm just gonna put in the front we use these pretty often we'll probably be gone here in a couple of days well, let's take care of this side door it's really just some odds and ends and butter random plastic bags some other smoothie options and items right here. I'm gonna add the blackberries that were freezing that I picked just along the walking path when I walked my dog. I'm gonna add a bag of those right here and then I think we'll just put the butter here. This is just some um, sushi meat. It's some eel for my husband and then we have some cream cheese that we'll probably use hopefully this week if not next week. And we'll go ahead and just put butter right there. husband's breakfast sausage and his lunch pull of sausages that he likes. We'll just keep his stuff up there. Smoothie stuff, butter down here. I think that's everything for the freezer. So here is the much more organized freezer and side of the freezer door. And we have some bins that will hopefully help manage all of the food that's in here and now I actually know what all we have so I'll be able to make dinners a lot easier and not go to the store to get something that we already have on hand. So it's been a couple of days, maybe more like a week or so since I organized this and of course we've gone clearance shopping, went to the bread store, so have more stuff in here than I did when we cleaned it out but I bought this really nice container from Target and it fits six loaves plus like you can add a couple skinny extra loaves in the back and it's perfect you can just pull them right out so that worked out really well solved the bread problem other than my uh, obsession with buying more clearance food but that is what the freezer is looking like today about a week later from when we organized it now that the freezer is cleaned out and i can see what i have we are going to meal plan the dinners for this week what i really like about how i do meal planning is i just write the dinner ideas down just because i put it on sunday doesn't necessarily mean we're having it on sunday we can switch it around as needed especially with the different like fresh things that we need to use we can like switch dinners around to make sure we don't waste any food but that's how i do it so let's write down what we're gonna have so we're gonna eat at my parents house on sunday probably film what we'll have there too then we're gonna have spaghetti and my pen is dying and we'll do kevin's chicken which is just a little frozen chicken dinner that's already cooked and ready to go you just reheat it and then we'll do some meatball subs to use up the bread that we found in the freezer. We could also do some teriyaki meatballs. We have some teriyaki sauce in the fridge that needs to get used. And then we have like half a bag of meatballs left. Then we could do some barbecue chicken sandwiches to use up those buns that we have. And I was planning on getting some chicken this week anyway, so that works out well. And then for the last day, we could do some of the sweet pork salads. We have the sweet pork already 
in the freezer ready to go along with the beans that we use for it. I'll have the video that I made recently of slow cooker dinners linked here for you. That's where the sweet pork recipe can be found. And that is what we're going to have this week just from the things that we have in the freezer. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy. Like I said earlier, I will be doing the meal plan dinners from this video in next week's video. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.